Jurassic movie, it's so important, the level of reality in recreating those dinosaurs. They need to feel 100% real. I think the secret behind the work that we did in Fallen Kingdom was to merge both technologies, to cheat the eye of the audience so there is a moment that they don't know if what they're watching is real or not. We've taken J.A.'s vision for what he really wanted to bring to the franchise. He felt like the dinosaurs needed to be more individual. So we brought a lot more detail and markings and color into the dinosaurs to try and imbue a sense of character. They have a lot more personality than they did before. We have a lot of ideas about how the original dinosaurs look. There are obviously contrasting and conflicting ideas, but we've got something very firm to base the designs on. You have to look at the other films because they've established a way that these dinosaurs move. But at the same time, the technology we have now has enabled us to introduce muscle sims and skin simulations. So it's partially about being correct anatomically, but it's also about trying to get the right character into these animals and how they might react in different situations. <laughs> Blue is obviously an incredibly important aspect of the film. We learn a little bit more about how Owen raised her, and you can understand the emotional bond that they have now. We looked at a lot of reference footage of uh, baby ostriches and baby emus. And then puppies especially, just trying to get that fun, inquisitive feeling when puppies are confused by something they haven't seen before, and they'll really twist their head in that sort of cute, fun way. It was really trying to incorporate that into Baby Blue. It was important to show that from the time that she's born, Owen is constantly recognizing that she's a special raptor that has a, a kinship to him as a human. Yeah. And then I feel like that's the opportunity to get yeah. in camera. Yeah. We had a great relationship with Neil Scanlon and his animatronic team, who made some of the best animatronics I've ever seen. What has been fun in post-production is where JA's wanted the animatronic just to do something a little bit different. So with the blue operation scene, we enhance certain elements of the animatronic. We might, for example, just replace the tail in one shot, or in another shot, we would just replace one of Blue's claws. And it was always quite enjoyable playing CG versus animatronic guessing game with J.A. Not even myself, when I was doing the reviews of visual effects, I knew what I was watching, if that was real or not. And that is the goal. When you create something that looks 100% real and you cannot tell if it's animatronic or CGI. The Sinoceratops finds Owen unconscious in the jungle and almost out of a motherly instinct wants to save him. This character, which I love, she's supposed to be very motherly, very kind, but tough at the same time. So she should have this tough look, but she should be like an old wise lady as well. And there's this extreme close up of the tongue coming out of the mouth and then licking the face. <laughs> It's hard to watch that every day and daily over and over and over again. <laughs> there was an onset tongue, quite large, quite gooey, and our FX team did an amazing job bringing the tongue to life. The Indoraptor, obviously, taking elements of dinosaurs we know were real, such as Velociraptors, and dinosaurs that were already genetic, such as the Indominus Rex on the last film, and inventing a new dinosaur from scratch was incredibly exciting. A lot of it came from early animation tests, seeing what looked scary, and then conversations with Jay about trying to find that personality for Indoraptor. J.A. started to bring references from Nosferatu, very specifically the front teeth and the long claws are definitely referencing the Nosferatu character. And then the next step for designing the creature was the movement and what's he gonna do that's slightly different to other dinosaurs. I had found reference footage of a crocodile bellowing and they'll vibrate their throats. And it was such a cool move and gives such a sense of presence to the animal. Here's a few tests of the Indoraptor walking. And this just lets us test drive the asset under motion before we take it into shot production. J.A. also introduced a very interesting concept, which is that this dinosaur is not a finished product. So there's all sorts of imperfections that were pretty exciting to bring to life. He has all sorts of facial tics. It was an interesting challenge trying to figure out how to portray involuntary twitches and tics, where the head would sort of twitch in an odd, uncomfortable way, and the, the shoulders would twitch in sort of a strange way, and just creating this sort of uncomfortableness when you were watching the character on screen.
There's a shot in the film where Maisie and the Indoraptor's faces are sort of merged as one. There's a symbiosis between the two, and that shot seals that concept. It was a JA concept for sure. The Indoraptor fighting Blue was always very specifically in Maisie's bedroom. J.A. had a very clear idea that he wanted to feel like a real bar brawl. And they just trashed this bedroom. So they filmed the room clean as it was and the room completely destroyed. And then our job primarily was about doing all the interaction between the dinosaurs and replacing it with the CG assets. So we ended up modeling just an enormous amount of assets, sofas, cushions, tons and tons of toys. We had a few Easter eggs, like we had a little E.T. toy. We did all sorts of bookshelves and dynamic books. We modeled just tons and tons of assets that all got destroyed. It was decided that Blue really should come and save the day one last time. And the final moment with the Indoraptor and Blue falling through the roof has been always a very iconic, almost religious moment with beautiful moonlight behind and glass falling around them. And it felt appropriate, I think, as we previewed it, that this started to become a slow motion shot just to really hold on it. You really want to enjoy that moment of, of them falling. Yeah.